to the great people of Afghanistan. Assalamu alaikum. The top NATO commander in Afghanistan has taken to the airwaves to talk about Friday's U.S. airstrike that killed nearly 70 people, some apparently civilians. Speaking to the Afghan people in this televised address, he says nothing is more important than the safety and protection of the Afghan people and that he takes this tragedy very seriously. He says the fight against the Taliban should not come at the expense of civilian lives. He also visited a hospital where many of the wounded were taken. We got the chance to offer our sympathies to some of the patients. Uh, it's clear to me that uh, we have some Afghan civilians who came to that site and were subsequently injured. Meantime, a NATO team has begun an official investigation into Friday's airstrike. McChrystal admits it's a challenge to tell apart militants and civilians, especially in this incident. In an insurgency, often insurgents are not obvious by dress. They're not obvious by actions until they are actually doing a hostile act. Uh, this particular activity occurred about 2 o'clock in the morning, and so you have the natural confusion of dark and a rural environment as well. So it's a challenge, but it's a challenge that we have to, to take very seriously and try to take as much care as we can. Here, McChrystal visits the site where a U.S. fighter jet blasted two tanker trucks that had been hijacked by Taliban militants. The black and NATO tankers exploded when a U.S. F-15 jet dropped two 500-pound bombs on them in a remote area of northern Afghanistan. The jet called in by the German military bombed the tankers, which reportedly became stuck trying to cross a river. Friday's pre-dawn strike occurred despite McChrystal's new orders restricting the use of air power if civilian lives are at risk. Myra Lopez, The Associated Press.